Close your eyes. Watch your breath. Try to be at home with the breath. Ask yourself where in the body. Is it hard to settle in? We'll see if you can breathe in a way that softens it up, opens things up inside. Because the mind needs a home. If it doesn't have a home, it's going to go wandering outside looking for some shelter. We find shelter in sight, sounds, sm smells, taste, tactile sensations, but it doesn't last. It's like a little hut made out of sticks or a hut made out of leaves. There's a hill tribe up in Thailand. <laughs> the Thai name for them is the yellow leaf spirits. They would build huts, and then as soon as the leaves on the hut began to turn yellow, they would leave. So you'd have these little yellow leaf huts all over, but no people, because the people couldn't stay. That's the same with the mind when it's looking for a home outside. You can stay for a little while, but then things have to change. You have to go running off finding a new one. So even though the breath has its inconstancy, at least it's always right here. Your sense of the body as you feel it within, as long as you're alive, it's right here. So learn how to settle in. Make this your home. This is one of the reasons why we focus on the breath, is because it's the element of the body that's easiest to adjust. You make it long, short, deep, shallow. You can't do that with the water element or the earth element or the fire element. The breath element is the one that you can play with the most. So see if you can get the sense that the breath is actually there before everything else, so you don't have to force it through things. Just be in touch with the fact that breath energy is your first experience of the body. And try to get things down to that elemental level. And then think of that breath energy permeating everything else you experience in the body. And you find it's a much more pleasant place to stay. Even when there's pains in different parts of the body, you can stay with the breath. And then as you develop the ability to stick with one perception for a long period of time, then you're less likely to go running off after other perceptions inside that make it hard to stay inside. So think of the breath as what comes first. Spread your awareness of the body. Think of the breath permeating the whole body. And then you can settle down in the whole body and have a place where you feel it, secure, at ease, where the mind can be stable, not be forced to go running around every time the leaves turn yellow. And so in this way you begin to learn how you can depend on it more as well. When the mind has a solid place to stay, the mind itself becomes more solid, more reliable less easily pushed around by things, because you know you have your space, and nobody else can penetrate, nobody else can experience, nobody else can take it away from you. So as long as this is your territory, make it a good place to stay. Our problem is we try to straighten out other people's territory, and we neglect our own. So learn how to settle in right here. You'll be less of a nuisance to other people, and you'll be more secure within yourself.